Hi folks and welcome to Tech with Troy. I'm making this video for a very particular reason. As we get closer and closer to the start of school for the fall semester of 2020, um, we're seeing a lot more schools that are changing their plans to going either completely online or hybrid with a lot of online. So because of that, um, students and parents are having to scramble at the last moment to find laptops for their students. Um, and there's a problem. Uh, as per this article and in Gadget, and I've seen uh, this in the news several other places too, um, because of how long the COVID-19 pandemic has gone on, uh, a lot of retailers out there have problems with their supply chain in terms of getting enough notebooks in stock. Um, to be honest, um, we're seeing a spike in demand for notebooks, and this article goes into that, right? Uh, there's a lot more people needing notebooks, a lot more students needing notebooks than we've ever seen before. But long story short, um, it's, fine to, it, it's hard to find um, decent notebooks, uh, particularly notebooks under the $400 price range, and particularly uh, Chromebooks. So what's a parent to do if uh, they need a Chromebook because their kid's school is going online? Um, well, a couple of options. One is you can look around and find deals. Up until very recently, for example, uh, this Chromebook on Best Buy was going, you could get it for $399 um, if you had a student. Um, obviously, the uh, special is gone, but Best Buy in particular has been really good about running deals for students. So I would basically camp on on their site and watch for deals on students. Um, this in itself is sort of the new, uh, I'd say, state of the art in terms of how Chromebooks are, are coming out now. Um, rather than a Celeron chip, it has an i3 chip. Rather than four gig of memory, it has eight gig of memory. And it has a decent amount of uh, storage, 64 gig. It also comes with an SD card slot, so you can expand the storage. So this is sort of what I'd be looking for. Uh, what I'd be very careful about doing is try not to get some of the older Chromebooks that are out there. You'll see Chromebooks that have Celeron chips still, that have 4 gig of memory, um, that have been out for a couple of years. Particularly with Chromebooks, they've got about a 5 to 6 year shelf life before basically Chrome isn't going to be um, updated on them anymore. So some of those machines that are still being sold are from 2 or 3 years ago. And I'd be very hesitant about getting such, particularly if you're looking to get uh, a laptop for maybe an elementary or middle school child where you're hoping to see that laptop last for um, the rest of their school career. Now, what if you can't find a deal? What if you camp out on Best Buy and it turns out that the deals go away because, you know, they're running short on inventory just like everybody else? Well, there are a couple of things that are still available in terms of Chromebooks. First of all, um, the Lenovo Chromebook Duet, uh, which we've covered on the channel before, and which is basically a tablet with an attachable keyboard, um, is still at a really good price. This has, uh, it does have a MediaTek processor, um, which is good because it's a sort of cell phone chipset that allows you to run Android apps on your uh, Chromebook too. Um, it's smaller, right? It's 10.1 inches. Uh, you have to use that little stand at the back. Uh, it won't sort of hold the screen up without it. Um, but to be honest, if you can't find anything else, this is still a pretty decent buy. The other option is that if your student's going to be working from home, um, on Amazon, they still have this available, which is a uh, it's a Chromebook uh, box, if you will. It comes with a uh, keyboard and mouse, and you basically hook it up to your TV via HDMI. Um, this thing's a good price, particularly if you get the Celeron one. This is a newer Celeron, so I'd feel comfortable getting that. You can also upgrade to an i3 version or even an i5 version what the price differential is is prohibitive. But if you really want a Chromebook and you don't want to get something like this because your kid is too young and you're afraid they'll lose it or break it or something, um, this is a viable alternative. Now, the other thing to realize is just because your kid's school is using Chromebooks, you don't have to stick with Chromebooks. Uh, basically, any laptop that runs Windows or uh, Mac OS or so forth is going to be able to run the Chrome browser. And the Chrome browser will provide all of the same Google tools that uh, a Chromebook would provide. So think about whether you can find a decent deal on 
a Windows laptop in particular. Now, those of you that have watched videos before on the channel know that uh, in the past few months I've been a little bit upset with Walmart and I've been trying to stay away from recommending items from them. Um, I'm going to put that aside for right now because right now we, we sort of don't have any choice. A lot of people um, you know, don't want to have to pay extra money just because I'm not talking about Walmart. So I am going to, to make some suggestions. There are quite a few decent, affordable Windows laptops still out there. Um, you can find them in the three to five hundred dollar price range easily. Um, if you want to make sure that it's going to be uh, uh, lasting a little bit longer, if you go up to six hundred or six hundred ninety nine dollars around that that uh, uh, price range, um, you can get a decent laptop that'll have a lot of years of life out of it. But let's start with the cheapest ones and then go up from there. At the very low end of a Windows laptop, the laptop that I'd recommend the highest is this uh, Motile laptop. Now, Motile is a new sort of store brand uh, by Walmart. Um, this thing's been reviewed several places on uh, YouTube uh, by uh, Linus's Tech Tips and others, and everybody agrees this is a, a really good laptop. I've actually used one. The keyboard's great. It's backlit. Um, it's a nice form factor. It's 14 inches, big enough to see, not too big to be clumsy. The other nice thing is that um, down the road, if you want to, you can certainly upgrade both the RAM and the SSD. But the good news is you don't really have to, right? Right out of the box, if you're willing to, let's see what the black one's going for. The black one's going for $449, and the silver one's going for $399. So if you're willing to put up with the silver laptop, um, now, this is not a touch laptop. This is not a two-in-one laptop. This is a conventional laptop. But this right here is going to have a 14-inch screen. Um, it's going to have enough RAM and enough storage to get you by, and particularly if you're going to use it mostly in Google Apps, uh, like Google Spreadsheets and so forth, uh, and Google Docs, this is going to be fine for you. Um, great build quality on these things. You can also find, uh, they don't really have any of the new Ryzen 5 versions of the Multile laptop out there, but you can find decent refurbished ones. Now, the one reason that I think about upgrading from the um, new Multile 14 with the Ryzen 3 to the refurbished Motile 14 with the Ryzen 5 is that you go from 4 gig of RAM and 128 gig of storage to 8 gig of RAM and 256 gig of storage. So you wind up getting twice as much RAM, twice as much storage. You don't have to do the upgrade yourself. Um, at 428, you know, these are, are fairly uh, recent uh, laptops that, uh, that Walmart's been selling. So the refurbished one, it's not like this is several years old, somebody turned it back in. This is something that when they shipped it, there was some error, maybe the Windows hadn't installed correctly, so they brought it back, fixed the problem, and and they're now selling it. So this is the, the only refurbished laptop that I would actually sort of recommend at this point. Now, if you're willing to pay a little bit more, um, again, Ryzen 5, 8 gig of RAM, 256 gig storage, and you'll see that from this point on, that's sort of the minimum that we're looking at. I wouldn't really, uh, if I'm going to spend over 400 bucks, I'm going to look for at least 8 gig of RAM, I'm going to look for at least 256 gig of storage, and I'm going to look for something that is at least a, a Ryzen 5 or Intel i5 level processor. Um, and, you know, this come right out and says, uh, hey, this is Google Classroom compatible. Well, they're all Google Classroom compatible, uh, I think. Um, but the point is, yes, you can run a, a Chrome browser on this thing. Um, decent machine, 429. Again, it's from Walmart. Now, for a little bit more, if you go up to, and I think this one you can get uh, $100. Oh, sorry, no, it is selling for $499 now. But this one is a 15-inch um, version of the 14-inch we just saw over at uh, Walmart. This one's being sold by Best Buy. They have them available. Um, it's also got the, um, I think, the same Ryzen processor in it. The one reason that you might want to think about this is, other than the 15-inch screen, is it also has a 512 gig SSD in it. So this thing for the price, right, 499 which is slightly higher than the 429 here, you get uh, twice as much storage, same 8 gig of RAM, same Ryzen 5 3500U processor. Now, a little bit higher, if you want to go with Lenovo. Um, 
and if you've watched videos here you know that I'm a big fan of the Lenovo keyboard. Um, my daughter actually has an older version of this machine. Uh, the nice thing is for you know and I know $550 we're getting into that's sort of pricey but it does come with a 10th gen Intel Core i5. It does come with the 8 gig of memory we're looking for and it do, does have at least the 256 gig SSD. Um, I would not recommend getting the sand pink. Um, the platinum gray is a little bit more palatable for less of us, most of us. Um, now, this is a, a nice size laptop. It's 13.3 inches. Um, like I said, the keyboard's great. Uh, there are, um, you know, it's not a two-in-one. It's not foldable, but it, uh, it'll lay flat, if you will. And this is a decent machine. Um, for a little bit more, 579 uh, you can get an Acer Swift laptop from uh, Walmart. Um, this has a newest version, Ryzen 5. This is a 4500 instead of the 3500U that the previous machines have been using. 8 gig of RAM, 256 gig SSD, backlit keyboard. If you're a fan of Acer keyboards, I know some of you are, they're uh, a little bit more island-like, if you will, than uh, you'll see in other machines. Um, this is a very uh, decent machine little bit higher price um, you can get a uh, sort of higher level uh, Lenovo idea pad we were looking at the s340 before from Walmart this is the s540 um, it comes again with the i5 uh, 10th generation 8 gig of memory 256 gig of hard drive um, at sort of the top end there is an Acer Swift 3 right so we saw the Acer Swift 3 5 4500U. This is the Acer Swift 3 Ryzen 7 4700U. So if you want something that's um, sort of at the top end of performance, um, the nice thing about the 4700U is it comes with uh, eight cores, which makes it a little bit faster. This also has eight gig of RAM, but it has 512 gig of SSD, uh, backlit keyboard, Again, not a two-in-one, but if you want sort of the, the best laptop that's probably going to last your child for an entire public school career, um, this machine available through Amazon is probably the way to go. Now, the very high end, and again, this is not actually much more expensive, right? This is $679. Um, with a student discount, I think you can get this for $699. Um, this is a HP Envy. It is a two-in-one, so it uh, folds, uh, it folds flat like a tablet. It folds in tent mode for watching videos and so forth. Comes with that same 10th gen uh, Core i5 from Intel. Has 8 gig of RAM, 256 gig of storage. Probably the the biggest selling point here is that this guy has a touch screen. This guy is a two-in-one. Um, again, I would not pay $7.99, but uh, with a student discount right now, you can get this for $6.99 through Best Buy. So I hope this has been helpful. I know that this is a trying time for, for students and parents as you try to prepare to go back to school and everybody else out there is scrambling trying to find uh, laptops. Like I said, you know, there are still some deals to be had. You have to watch for them, have to sort of camp out on particularly Best Buy site, but you can probably find a decent Chromebook, let's say $399 to $499 um, when they go on sale, assuming, of course, that they've got inventory. I gave you a couple of alternatives. You can find a slightly older, uh, no, I'm sorry, I misspoke there. You can find a slightly smaller uh, Chromebook Duet uh, with 10.1 inch uh, screen. That's still going for $299. I've got a review of this uh, uh, Chromebook Duet elsewhere on the channel. Um, one of the reasons I'm recommending the Best Buy version is you can find this thing a little bit cheaper even, maybe on Walmart, but it does not have an SD card slot. So the fact that the version on Best Buy comes with 128 gig of storage, particularly if you're going to install a bunch of Android apps on it, makes it ideal. Now. Um, we also said that you could go with a Chrome box, which is a Chromebook without the screen that you have to hook up to your TV. Finally, I made a lot of recommendations, starting cheapest, going to most expensive for Windows machines. Now, the only thing I will mention, Windows machines will run all Chrome OS apps. They're not going to run Android apps, right? So one of the reasons that you might want to stick with a Chrome uh, 
box or a actual Chromebook is for whatever reason if your student wants to run uh, cell phone apps on their Chromebook um, I can't imagine that a school would actually require a particular cell phone app but I you know I have seen instances where there's some tool that's available on people's cell phones and the teacher recommends hey you can install this on your Chromebook too you can do that with Chromebooks you cannot do that with Windows machines but all of the Google apps, uh, all the, the Google Classroom stuff will run fine on Windows machines. I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, I hope everybody has good luck at finding the tools they need for their students going back to school this fall. If you could, take the time to subscribe to the channel. We'd appreciate it. Take care.